So our next speaker, probably more than anyone else here, really needs no introduction. Uh, it's Boston Tea Party. He's an author, speaker, gun instructor. He's uh, got more than 13 books. I'm from Wyoming, and uh, as the founder of Free State Wyoming, I sort of feel like a Dodge pickup truck at the Ford dealership out here. But nobody slashed my tires, and it's my third time in New Hampshire, so I feel very welcome here uh, after two Liberty Forums and my first Pork Fest. So I, I appreciate everyone's uh, friendship and uh, support of my books. And a lot has happened in 15 years that I want to bring you up to speed on that has a big significance for uh, liberty and uh, the future of our country and, and any, any of the free state movements. Uh, we're coming to a real constitutional crisis that I'm seeing the beginnings of that within 20 years I don't think we'll have our constitution in its current form and I'll get to that in a moment. First, let me bring you up to speed on sort of the history of the Constitution, who wrote it and why. Um, this may not be a surprise to a lot of you here, but the so-called founding fathers were actually two sets of guys. The first set was the Revolutionary War crowd of like Thomas Jefferson, Sam Adams, um, Patrick Henry, and so forth. After we won the revolution, after we basically made it untenable for the British to maintain occupation uh, on our shores, ten years later we had what's called the settlement of the revolution. Who's going to hold power in these un new United States of the 1780s and beyond? And the Jeffersonian type of folks, which I would call very libertarian, uh, agrarian, leave me alone, uh, they're not avaricious, they're not looking to build commercial empires, much less international empires. The Jeffersonian people of the day wanted something about like we, what we have here in uh, New Hampshire and Wyoming, okay? They wanted a, a leave me alone kind of ethos. However, there, that wasn't the entire part of the country. There was the, what the uh, uh, Federalists are known as the Hamiltonians. And the Hamiltonians were just itching for more state power, okay? And the Articles and Confederation didn't satisfy the Hamiltonians. So they agitated behind the scenes to get more and more and more. They used the Shays Rebellion of 1786 as the, ooh, the, 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 the peasants are rising up against the property owners, which wasn't quite true. Um, and so they agitated for the Constitutional Convention. They went to basically the power brokers and the political uh, notorieties of the day, such as George Washington, and said, look, George, We've got to uh, have a new kind of document to run this country. We need a new system of government because the Articles of Confederation are too weak. Too weak against the rising uh, debtor class, too weak against the, the French or the British or the Indians or whatever the threat may be. So they successfully got George Washington to, to provide his imprimatur, his, his stamp of personality on the Philadelphia Convention of 1787. That's the second set of the so-called founding fathers, which uh, one author called the founding lawyers, and I'm going to keep using that because it's a great term. They were mostly lawyers. These 55 people that went to the convention in 1787, like 34 or 44, I forget the number exactly, were, were lawyers and 44 were lawyers and or politicians of the 55. None of the Revolutionary War incendiaries, such as Christopher Gadsden, Patrick Henry, uh, Tom Paine, uh, Sam Adams, none of those guys were there. Jefferson was serving in Paris as our uh, envoy to uh, the court. And so you basically had the Hamiltonian, mercantilist, we want a strong central government crowd that A, agitated for the con uh, Constitutional Convention, B, wrote the document, C, propagandized the document through the Federalist Papers written by Hamilton, Jay, and Madison under an alias because they didn't want the fact that they were the authors of the uh, Constitution trying to sell it to the ratifying conventions of the states. And C, basically the Federalists, uh, when they took over the uh, first government, the, the federal government, were all in power. So the history of the Constitution from beginning, middle to end, all points to statism. Just the history of it. Okay? The details of the Constitution regarding that point are even more compelling. Here of the TSA 
operatives at the uh, checkpoint in Peterborough, New Hampshire, checking folks uh, before they're allowed to get uh, into the same geographical area as John McCain. Federal statute is the, quote, supreme law of the land. It displaces state and local law. Well, that's a bummer. Congress is virtually unlimited in legislative possibilities under the so-called necessary and proper clause, very important clause, kind of an overlay clause that activates other things. Uh, Congress is virtually unlimited in the scope of direct taxation under the for the general welfare clause. Uh, treaties give the feds municipal police power usurping the states. The Senate impeaches its own members. How fair is that? Uh, the judiciary has no check or balance by the states or the people. The judiciary decides if the federal actions are unconstitutional. You know, family members judging own family members, so to speak. There should have been a, a, a uh, extra jurisdictional court to judge the feds, not the feds themselves. Uh, the judiciary interprets the so-called spirit of the Constitution through the equity clause. States are helpless against federal tyranny, militias in the federal hands when activated. And amendment process is basically in the hands of Congress. <laughs> Is it safe to assume that uh, you won't be corresponding with Homeland Security again? That's Dave Minson from the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance, meeting with New Hampshire's governor, fighting real ID. He's just one of many hundreds who've joined the feisty alliance and are making their mark on state government. Don't let these folks have all the fun. Do what I did. Join the alliance and help us keep the state house in check. NHLiberty.org